so um, I gotta talk about Logan Paul, which is why I'm eating s'mores cereal straight out the bag. Just a little stress eating. Anyway, yes, Logan Paul. Um, he filmed a, a, a dead body in Japan's infamous suicide forest. Then he uploaded it to YouTube and somehow thought that that was going to be hunky-dory with everyone. But then he soon found out that people might not be as dog shit as he is. And there was this huge backlash. Everyone went at him. Chick from Game of Thrones went at him. Fucking Aaron Paul went at him. <laughs> he went Holy shit! So when that happened, he released an apology statement, which was about as apologetic as anything you'd expect from Logan Paul. It was terrible. I don't need views. I get views. So what was that filming the dead body in the woods for? Just for fun? Like, oh yeah, I don't need views. I just, I film corpses on my off time. Like, I jerk off to this shit. This is just a normal day. So then he releases a video apology to apologize for the other fucking apology and for the shit he already did. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. In the first split second, you could kind of tell that he was reading off of something. His eyes linger on the screen for a few seconds. Uh, what you looking at? And in, in the whole fucking video, he's like completely dead behind the eyes like he usually is. He's got serious Heaven's Gate eyes going on. We'll title this tape, Planet Earth About to be Recycled. I wasn't buying it because if you weren't sincere the first time, you aren't now. It's hard to take him seriously anyway because he's always got that stupid fucking haircut. It's like a bowl haircut, but it's not with a bowl. It's with Gilligan's hat. That's what his fucking hair looks like. And it pisses me the fuck off. But there are some people who are being kind of lenient with Jake Paul. The distinction has become meaningless. That what he did was a mistake. Like, people make mistakes. It's just a big dog gum damn mistake. And I think these people are thinking in terms of being a YouTuber as opposed to being a decent fucking human being with basic morals and decorum. As a content creator, he made him a fucking mistake. Like, this was a bad career move. Yes, but as a human being, this was... Fucked up to the umph degree. Dog gum damn mistake. Try that shit with any other profession. Look, I know I beat up an unarmed black guy, but I just got caught up in the cop game. You know, you feel me? <laughs> I'm out here grinding. I'm out here putting motherfuckers away. I'm gonna end up shooting one unarmed black person. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know I sexually harassed a dozen women, but that's how it is in the producer game in Hollywood. <laughs> I just, just, I just got caught up. It was a mistake. And remember, I am not measuring the magnitude of each wrongdoing. What I'm saying is stop labeling blatant, well thought out actions as a mistake because they are not mistakes. He went out there set on finding a body to film for content and for views. That's what he went out there to do. Some believe the ghosts of those abandoned and the mournful spirits of the suicidal linger in the woods. Son! The Japanese suicide forest. I don't have to be in this part. Really? No like, joke, guys. This place is creepy. Well, allegedly, this place is haunted. Well, I f hope not, because we're spending the night. We got a binoculars so we can see the ghosts. Hey, ghosts. Folklore claims they are vengeful, dedicated to tormenting visitors and luring those that are sad and lost off the path. Son! Hey, uh... You're a ghost in this forest. Please, please leave us alone. So this is it. We're officially stepping off the trail into the forest. Hey, um, I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. Acting. Did we just find a dead person in the suicide forest? No. So he just got so caught up in getting views, you know, which he got. There are steps in fucking up this badly. He planned the trip to the forest. He planned the video. Then there's the drive out to the forest, the trek through the forest, filming the dead body, going to his hotel, washing all the dead people stink off you. Because you know, it's not maverick to smell like a old sad little corpse. Then there's the time it takes to edit the video, which is a couple of fucking hours. Then there was the rendering process. Then there was the time he took to make the thumbnail. Then there was the time he took to upload the video. Then there was the time he took to write in all 
the data for the video, all the tags, and the links to his merch. And then there was all the time in between it was first posted until he got caught. In the moment just now, I didn't keep track of how many steps that was, but that is quite a number of steps. But we're not going to delve too deep into the actual video. You know what it is already. What I really want to focus on is this video uploaded by TMZ at, uh, that came out a day ago. Basically, TMZ caught Jake Paul at the airport and he's wearing his fucking maverick merch i don't have a point for that it's just something that kind of irritated me anyway they're asking him questions none of them the right question in my opinion but what else can you expect from fucking tmz i'm good man how are you how are you feeling Fuck your feelings. what have you what have you learned from what's transpired recently everything so many things helicopters and shit and he seemed meek he seems remorseful but then i think what is he fucked up over is he upset that he has to take a pay cut that he doesn't have the same privileges on youtube that he used to or is he sad that he exploited the tragedy of a young suicidal person we'll never know until he makes a move or comes out with a new video and then he gets asked do you think, do you think you've, been you've been treated, treated fairly, fairly by, by YouTube, YouTube and by the public? public? And he just goes dead silent. But then he kind of like, like yeah, 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 yeah. at one point in the video, while he's talking to this guy, he looks visibly irritated. That's very interesting. You're just a guy who's hopeless and alone and in one of the worst moments of his life. Your eyes are dead. You feel like shit. And then this obnoxious bottom feeder comes around with a camera to film it. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. How does it feel? That's everything I wanted to say about the Logan Paul situation. That's a wrap. So if you'd like to live off my corpse, share this video, smash that like button, subscribe, donate, or become a Patreon. That would really help me out. And remember, YouTube ain't that fucking deep. You don't have to fucking turn into a complete sociopath to come out with good content, okay? Just wanted to say that, and bye-bye.